Isolated in the city with my team Smoking, drinking, doing our own thing Tell me what you went to, what you bring We gon' be What's going on guys? So I have a bit of a story time for you today um, It is the last day of the holidays so I'll be bringing out a video for you tomorrow about this, my school and everything. So just a quick disclaimer, it might not be as good audio because I'm recording on my phone and I have my earphones plugged in. And basically, I'm, I've am i literally just came downstairs because I got up really early to see my baby brother go to school. So I'm in my pyjamas still and I have this story time. The people that uh, have YouTube channels that are included in this story time, I'll leave their channels in a link in the description so you can go check out their channels, which are different related to mine. Some people, as my friends, are still like at school now, so they might not upload, but I'll leave all of the links in the description so go check out their channels, share them some love, definitely hit them, hit them up on like, subscribe to them. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the story time. So guys, it's gonna be better audio now because like, I've taken my earphones out but basically we was in this abandoned building down near my primary school where I used to go Um, obviously I'm going up into high school tomorrow and I was in year six and I was like I did have this footage but it got lost when I was trying to upload it to my other channel that I used to have which was a collab channel so getting on to the point there was this abandoned building at the back of this at the back of this old site near a forest on this construction site which had been knocked down half but you can still get inside and go upstairs and everything it was just half of a house like nothing in it the floorboards were just wood and things like that so there's a forest leading on which is bordered up through our school playground so you can't get in through the forest and when i was little i actually saw like we have like this wildlife area at the back and I saw a man with a gun in reception and literally it was like weeks before that got sorted out um, through and throughout school. So coming on to the actual point that out what's the story time today, um, we normally go back there to fetch balls and throw them back over in our, to our school from where people have been playing football and where they've been knocked over. Because we asked like Mr Sutton, who is our like person who goes into there to grab all the balls and we asked whether we could help him because we go to the abandoned building and we know him quite well because he's, he's um, related to us in a way. So um, he said it was fine, just we're not allowed proper through the wards because it's like ages away. You can go walking miles and miles. So me, my, a girl called Kyra and her brother and Savannah and all these other people were supposed to go. So me and Kyra and her brother were the only one that ended up actually going near and close to the forest. So we was walking and we was walking and we got to the perimeter of the forest where you start to go in through nettles that you have to like climb over this wall to actually get through because the thorns and the nettles had grown tall. So I was helping her up because she's not really like good at climbing. It was her first time in there. So I had to pick her up and put her on top of the fence to jump over whilst I was actually climbing because she came in flats because we didn't actually know that we were going to get So there. her brother didn't want to go in because someone actually chased him through the forest, the full forest, and ended up taking, like, his phone was ringing and ringing, and then he heard the ringing, but he was, like, getting further and further away, but his phone was in his pocket, and then he realised it wasn't there. So he left, and he went into the actual house, which will probably be another story time, because I've got a couple stories on that, into the actual abandoned house where... Um, my sister's mates had pushed massive silver things so you can climb up into the top and like play like sit in that and do some videos so me and kyra went to the perimeter of the forest and because we was older than him her brother is like a year older well i mean a year younger and i think i was like the second youngest there because she's like older than me like she's 12 this year so we was walking through the forest and um savannah called her up and she's like oh can i come with you so we went to go get her and we came back again 
we literally shit ourselves guys we was stood in the forest was literally like five minutes through the forest getting towards the gates to our school and someone taps kyra on the top of the head no joke and like starts grabbing her arm and pulling her and pulling her so we're dragging her back bear in mind like i'm more experienced than them because like i don't know how to say it like i'm not trying to brag or rope but they're kind of like girly girls if you don't know what i mean like they come out not prepared do you know what i mean like i think you all know what i mean i just can't describe it so we're dragging it we're dragging it and he's trying to pull her through and so she, she she hands me a phone and i put it in my zip up pocket and we start grabbing her and trying to pull her through the forest and it's just not working he just won't let go and then we see Mr. Sutton coming out of the school because I don't sure what time it was. It was because they go there after all the teachers. So he's still there, like, cleaning up and that. And he just bolts through the forest, the guy. We've never seen him in our lives. He just bolts it through the whole forest and we couldn't find him. He just, like, legged it left whilst we were trying to head right. So we all ran out, we were screaming Thomas because we didn't know whether we were still there because he was by himself and we didn't want him to go in bearing mind. So we were screaming Thomas, Thomas and he just wasn't there, nowhere to be seen. So I climb up into the house because she didn't, couldn't get up there because she was wearing flats and it was like this much to grip onto the wall except from like the box that was there and you had to climb up like um, three metres without anything there just like full free hand up the wall so i had to climb up there to see whether he was up there he was not there literally so five minutes later we're still searching for him then we see him running out from where the construction site is pegging it through the gap that we made in the fence to get out and then that's it really like we couldn't find anyone but i think i'm gonna leave this story time here i hope you enjoyed this video definitely leave a like because i'm going to be doing more story time videos but yeah, we literally got grabbed in the forest. Don't forget to go check out my mate's channel, which I'll leave in the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and bye.